Good morning, class. My name is uh, Maja Kutumi Sama. Recall that uh, this was not our first class we meeting. The last time we met, we discussed briefly on what management uh, has been uh, described as by various uh, scholars. And vividly, you recall that uh, we look at the definition also from the perspective of uh, Mary Parker to define management as a way of getting tasks performed through people. Okay? But today we are looking at uh, management of public and private enterprise. Okay? When we are talking about um, management of public and private enterprise, we want to look first at the public uh, sector. When we talk about the public sector, we are talking of a sector that has a constituent. The constituent of public sector include federal, state, and local council. At the federal level, we have MBAs. MBA stands as acronym representing ministries, departments, and agencies. So anytime you come across an MBA in any publication or what have you, you remember that we are talking about ministry, department, and agencies. Example of a ministry, you have a ministry of education, we have ministry of finance, we have ministry of women affairs, and we also have ministry of education and so on. All of them have various functions that are very vital for government to keep going. Okay, when we talk about departments, we have various departments, a few of them you can see display. Department of Petroleum Resources, we also have Department of State Services. All of them are also very vital for the continuity of activities of government. Okay, we also talk about agencies. We have National Orientation Agency. We have a National Agency for Food and Drug Administration Control Nanda. National Intelligence Agency. All these agencies, they have various functions that are very vital to government. We will talk about objectives. Objectives of public sector, objectives of a private sector. Objective is so paramount to any establishment, be it public or private. Because this objective, once it's put in place, is what the entire system will begin to work towards attaining. At the end of the day, it is a question of whether the objective has been realized or not. So when we look at the objective of public sector, there are quite a number of them, depending on whether it's a ministry, agency, or department. However, the basic issue is, in governance, we look at welfare because the government exists in order to ensure we are very of the citizenry. And another vital one is provision of basic amenities. Hence, in governance, when you talk about the public sector, you are talking of a sector that has no primary objective of amassing wealth, but commitment to the populace. Now, when we talk about objectives from perspective of private sector, we are talking of objective from the perspective of certain scenario whereby the owners have the key objective of increasing the fortune of the owner. Now, you remember that also in the previous class, we look at various uh, business form that come under private uh, sector. 
When you talk about private sector, those who operate business in private sector will fall in various categories of business. But the key major ones are those that are private limited and those are, that are public limited. If you are talking of those categories now, you'll be talking of the objectives as relating to the interest of the owners. The owners in terms of a public limited uh, company, they are basically shareholders and in that regard, we need to talk about share value, we need to talk about share appreciation as objective. We will begin to dissect each of these as we go deeper into the course, in the course of the semester. Now, when we talk about public-private partnership, okay, it's a partnership that is so essential because at a certain point in time, we discover that both the private and public will have to come together to execute certain aspect of uh, projects and one of such projects is projects with caption as housing projects looking at it from housing ppp ppp stands for public private partnership under this we discover that at certain point in time government has to work with certain individual in order to make housing available to the populace Okay, another area where public private partnership can occur is in the area of a road project. We have seen instances whereby projects concerning road will be handled by private individuals and will be, there will be an agreement between private individuals that handle such projects that at the majority of the projects you will be allowed to run it for a certain number of years, whereby you can tow it as a private person, after which the government will take over. We have a good number of them in Lagos. There's one at the bank called Ohio uh, Bay Lane, where vehicle movements are subjected to tow uh, motor vehicles, uh, bicycle riders, and all of that with different uh, tow fee. For each. Okay? We also have a public private partnership in the area of uh, waste management, whereby government and private uh, individuals will have to go into agreement on how to partner to make sure that uh, the waste is being generated, be it industrial waste, be it household waste, and all the lives are properly managed, both in agreement between government and private sector. So this is where we conclude for today. As the semester progresses, we begin to look more in details on the issues involving public and private partnership. Thank you for listening.